When I first uh, heard about this topic, I actually didn't know, didn't know anything about it. A friend of mine told me that there is a brown coal mine in, in Germany and villages are being destroyed and resettled just for that. And I was like, what? In Germany, really? When I was there, uh, the first time I heard about people who live in the forest, who try to save a forest uh, from being cut and uh, for, for the coal mine to be enlarged. And this got me interested immediately and I wanted to, to see how they live and what their motivation is. And I wanted to include them in my project also. Working in the forest was uh, quite difficult for me because a lot of the activists, uh, they are fearing to be photographed because they fear repressions by the police, for example, if they could see some of, some of these pictures. Um, and also, it's a really special thing to work there for me, um, because uh, I first had to, to learn to climb, actually, because uh, all these tree houses, they are about 20 meters high, some a bit more, some a bit less. And then to move on from one tree house to the other, you walk on one rope and hold on to the other. And so I, I've been, I've tried to photograph the tree houses also, and standing on one rope um, below me this ground and, and 20 meters and nothing. Um, and I, I tried to hold on to the other rope and, and try to take a picture. And, Photographing the protest, I, I sometimes felt like it's more a logistical challenge than actually a challenge to make a good picture. Because uh, the activists, they sometimes split up. You don't know in what direction they're going. It's, it's really hard to understand where to follow uh, the people um, to get the, the interesting photo. And there was one moment where the demonstrators were just in front of the railways of the coal train. And in that moment the police arrived, they came out jumping uh, out of their uh, cars uh, trying to stop these protesters and I was there in the situation uh, trying to compose a picture. Uh, I took one picture and then I myself had to run away from a police officer who was running right towards me even though I was clearly visible as press, I had to run away from them in, in this situation. I think what motivated me through this project was the anger that I felt sometimes. It's, and I, I don't feel anger so often, but in this case I, I really don't understand why our government doesn't act. Because it, for me it's obvious that climate change will be the most dangerous threat to our whole world in this century. I actually don't really think that um, the people in the government or people who can make the decisions uh, will change anything if they see work like this. Um, but I think that maybe a social movement um, could, could make a change in this case. And I think if enough people would protest against coal mining in Germany, then it might come to a sooner end and it would be better for us in the future. So I really hope that more people get aware of this topic and protest against it.